What's up everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to visit a location that I have discovered in Mexico. So I've, I've seen other people show this location here in the Mexico range in Red Dead Redemption 2, but some of the ways to get there were kind of complicated and a bit time consuming so i'm going to show you the easiest way to get to this location over here on this cliffside so you'll notice so i'm in mexico i crossed the river just south of thieves landing this is the easiest way i found to get into mexico and um as i pan around you will see there it is there is like a big Mexico, Mexican style like compound over there, you know, almost like a walled off little village. And I tried cross referencing to the original Red Dead Redemption maps, but nothing, I mean, there's things in this area, but nothing was really coming up that would match this to the original Red Dead Redemption. So, the fastest way that it's going to be for us to get over there and the easiest way to get over there is we're going to need to spawn ourselves a horse so by doing that over here in mexico you're going to have to enter the cheat run exclamation point run exclamation point run exclamation point and make sure you put a space between both words and yes they are both capitalized so let's go ahead and get that entered and we will be able to spawn our horse after the cheat code is accepted <coughs> so let's finish entering this in and if you are wondering how to get into mexico please um check out my video uh i'm going back to guarma and you will see the funny little trick of the easiest way I found to get into Mexico. So there we go. Once you enter the cheat, it'll tell you that the cheat has been unlocked and it will be for create racehorse. <clears throat> so we just go ahead and activate this cheat. <clears throat> and there we go. There is our racehorse. And that is the only way to get a horse on this side of the map because you cannot bring your horse onto this side of the map. It's impossible to get the horse to go up the hills and everything just to get up over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and follow this trail. Well, this path, I would say, along this mountain ridge. And we're going to follow it all the way to the end. So... I can show you exactly like what it is you need to do and what to look for in order to get down this ridge and then to make your way over to where the location is. <clears throat> and as you can see, even over here, even though we are outside of the playable map, this is very, it's a very generated active landscape i mean there's not any animals even though you may hear birds and stuff like that but there aren't any animals over here and there's not supposed to be any people either but i actually also have another video clip of where there where i had where i spotted three strangers three people on horseback on this side of the map so to me, that indicates that Rockstar could have been planning something or has, or maybe had something in the works for this area, but they just never went through with it. So we've ridden all the way to the end of this cliff, basically. And you see, look, it's too steep to go down. So what we're going to want to do is just double back a little bit. And you're going to start seeing where it's going to gradually kind of come to a hillside to where we can just slide down the hill and make our way down into the valley <clears throat> so there we go that was pretty easy get down the hill 
And now we'll head towards the next cliff, which we're going to have to get up on in order for you to get access to that area. So what you're going to want to do is just keep hitting straight on like you're heading towards it. There it is up there on the hillside. And uh, go to the left. We're going to head to the left. And what we're going to have to do is we're actually going to have to follow this entire like mountain range, this cliff, whatever, all the way around. So you're going to follow this all the way around until what you'll come to looks like a pathway up and it'll be on your right hand side. So let's keep going. <clears throat> beautiful landscape I mean they absolutely did a fantastic job landscaping this out out for but for nothing it just seemed like such a waste I mean could you imagine having all the map from Red Dead Redemption 1 with the Mexico map and Red Dead Redemption 2 map it would have been ultimate it would have just been sup superb so anyways here we are you can start seeing as everything kind of comes up to a little hill here on the back side of this cliff face. So you're going to want to ride up until you get up to the top here. <clears throat> and you'll start seeing to where you can kind of get up on this ridge. So if you go up far enough, the horse will be able to ride up the ridge. So here we go. We're going to make our way up. And once you're up here, you're going to want to head in the southeastern direction, you know, or northeastern, the more, more eastern direction, let's just say that. And you'll come to the structure that is here hanging out on this cliff face. And you'll notice that the structure isn't entirely completed it's like either it's a ruin or they just so you can see you, you can see i can boom i just walked like right through the wall so you can see how it's not complete like the graphics are not all there you know everything here is not complete you cannot access the buildings or anything like that but it is a really cool feature to come and see that rockstar had put in the game i mean it, it feels intentional to for them to have it here and for us to find is like a little easter egg as in a ha 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 let's you know let's see what these gamers will do let's see what the people playing the game if they're that interested can they make their way over here um but yeah, this is this is it. This is the the big structure right across the river from Thieves Landing in the Mexico region, and it, it's pretty awesome. I mean, I really wish that Rockstar would have continued on and put out a DLC or something for this. But yeah, here it is. Here's the structure. That's how you get here. Um, it sits up here on top of this range, right here on top of this cliffside up in this area so um if you're looking to try to understand how to actually get in onto this side of the map please check out my other videos that i have posted on how to get over here and how to get back to guarma and um yeah i appreciate everybody checking out the video and i hope it helps everyone